today is going to be different. I'm going to finally play a different game that doesn't involve, you know, a lot of platformers. Something you haven't seen before, and it existed to be on a PS4, called Tiny Troopers Joint Ops. Never heard of it? Neither did I. I had to look up the gameplay. See if it plays. All right, that's a pretty quick right now. <laughs> Doesn't waste time like the other games I put in. I looked up the gameplay. It kind of reminds me of like the Diablo games. Just have a camera far away to the characters and let them do all the rest. It is kind of like that game, but... At the complete opposite. Let's see how well I'll play this one. So... At least I'll do something else. Alright, fine. Let's do tutorial. Why not? Wow, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Not even like a minute in, and the thing is telling the queen it off. Zombie edition. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like that game. Something Madness. Monster Madness game. So it is kind of like shooting zombies. The front cover didn't say that. Oh yeah, I didn't look at the bottom side. It's kind of dark in here. Well, clearly the sun is out. But here it's kind of darker to see the front cover. I just want to play a different game for once. All right, skip all that. I don't know, you can press X to skip all that. All right, let me play the game. Oh, you can't be serious. To complete tutorial, having I mean, designed to... Oh, I figure out these characters remind me of those worm characters. Can I shoot you? To play the game, you have to use the other joystick control. Are you serious? Okay, I duck. Gotta stop pressing. Really can stop pressing the X button. Alright, I got weapons. Healing items. Oh, they cost a lot of coins. So, this is the whole game, huh? Um. I bet. Touch the 
pad or square. Um, how do I use it? How can I throw my explosives? And I just killed myself. I press the R button. I did a little too close there. Wow, are you serious? If I die, I go back to the beginning. My fault, I don't know what to do in this game. Or like a few minutes in, I already screwed it up here. I never played this game before, so I have to get used to controls in this thing. Still shot me anyways. Alright, let's try again. Okay, there we go. I'll have to hold down pressing the R2 button. And while the joystick moves it. The left. I mean right joystick. Left is for shooting. Which is pretty weird. Okay, hold on a second. I'm right here, and you have to go down there. So I have to go all the way back over here. See, I'm move very slowly. You can at least move a little faster there, buddy. Hmm, hold on. Damn it! Oh, the gate is open? I did not see that there. Even like 20 minutes in, and I still keep dying. And for my stupidity, mess. I can't even see where I'm going at all. Um, what's the point of that where I'm still gonna take a freaking hit? I see, that's how you get money, by down that point there. Wondering how does that work. Alright, I got it this time. Alright, check the map. 
I go this way. Boot camp. Okay, now we can play the actual game. Blah, blah, blah. Outbreak. I think we've seen this all before already. Let's do it. It's rock and road. Little tiny soldiers. Let's kill some undead idiots. Dog tags found. Sweet. There's another one. I do like shooting games like these ones. Zombie! He's... Yeah, take that! Here they come! At least they're not less annoying as they are in Call of Duty. Which I did play before. Exterminate all of them. So I'll play this game for like maybe an hour. So I'll that maybe four down my mind. While you're screaming, they are probably explosives. Or they're just charging at you. Heads up. This is meant for little kids, right? The way you're shooting zombies and your tiny soldiers. It's like a reminder of other shooting games I have done before. Or other fighting games are plainly simple as this. Ew, you dummy. Music sounds nice. And now there's like zombie chickens? Alright, did not see that one coming, and neither is that. There's so many of them. Okay, run away, run away. I'm to get used to aiming here. Maybe someday I'll play like the Ghostbusters video game, the 2016 one that's based off the movie. Let's see how bad it really is. Since I don't have a Xbox One that doesn't work anymore, I'll just get it for the PS4. Maybe I'll be worth it or not. I'll probably regret saying that. This seems a little bit cheap on this game play here. Or just soldiers just trying to survive the apocalypse here. Here they come. Well, their heads off.
This almost reminds me of those other or shooting games. You know, to make for like well, well, drain. It's just kind of time. It's times like this. It's never been like better gameplays compared to this one. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, there's another one. So every time we collect these, we're gonna buy some weapons, huh? This is a big, empty field. Full of not much else happening. I was hoping more zombies would come out. So it does remind me a lot, a lot like Diablo 3, except it's big, huge, empty field of not much going on here. And I can see why nobody wants to play this game, because it's already... Halfway empty here. Just trying the fence. All right, let's see. Get this one. Let's try again. Yeah, that's right. Drop the load. And that was a waste. Oh, crap. Good thing they move pretty slowly. Oh sure, land right where they're at. Eliminated all the zombies. Go to the, ch the checkpoint. Let me guess, it's right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Should have done that. Well, he's a game over, man. Game over. <laughs> Not enough. Oh, man. Don't tell me to start over again. I have to start over again, don't I? Ugh, crap. Again, we're not even 20 minutes in and I already screwed up big time. If you blow yourself up, you're back to the freaking beginning. This is bullshit. I do love it when he said, game over, man, game over. <laughs> That was a movie where our friends. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. It's the controls that don't uh, respond half the time the way I control them. So that's just freaking perfect now to start all over again.
I really don't want much else to say in this gameplay that you just shoot zombies and zombie chickens for some reason. This feels halfway empty. I'll show them up. I get that. All too easy. When I play like certain zombie games, it's obviously Resident Evil. Not something like this. This doesn't feel thrilling to me right now. The music does it repeat over and over again. But I feel like playing a different zombie game that doesn't feel same symbol as this. I'm sorry, did it, what year did this game came out? 2015. Why does this feel like a cheaper way to make your game like this? This feels like a plankton for a buying revenge. Except a bit cheaper to just reuse the same weapons over and over again. Shooting these zombies and zombie chickens fell a little bit too easy. I mean, are you serious? This is the whole game, isn't it? I wonder if I play this game on difficult mode. Would it make like almost slightly a difference if I kill more than what's there? Ow, ow, ow. And to heal your buddy there. Why does this feel a little bit lazily done just to make a few bucks out of this game on the PS4? Also, all these trees look identical to each other. I felt like they've done this game, like, nearly really a month, and just call it a day, just do the entire backgrounds and grass, and most likely everything. This looks like some of an old Wii game that you can buy for, like, nearly 99 cents. This feels like a game I would play better in the House of the Dead game. By obviously swinging the Wii remote around. I don't know why this is a thing now about these games being cheap and even lazily done and don't even know that they exist. It's 
Seriously, the music sounds very familiar to me. Like, I swear I heard it from a... Older... Horror game franchise. Sounds like from, like... Resident Evil, or... Something... And out of an older game from the early 2000s, like... Nanko... Calcum soundtrack? I mean, you can't be serious, this is the whole game? Get free... Really? Now when I see the front cover, it looks pretty darn awesome. This is the whole game? Are you kidding me? So you have to have like more than one, well basically two teammates, but three more, huh? All right, now I go uh, rescue the prisoners. Oh, it's kind of like, um... Well, I would not say, like, Pikmin, but kind of like that game. Okay, so that's kind of like... Oh, now I remember, it's kind of like Gretchen and Clank all for one. If you have, like, more than two players, but... And three or four more players, it's, it gets exciting. The more two teammates you get, the more you'll wipe out zombies quicker. I see what they did there. <laughs> Alright, I actually get the point of this game now. Oh crap! Except that game is slightly more exciting compared to this one. That was close. And shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. You're free. Follow us! Also, these characters look like Franco Pop toys. So, our mission is to protect the prisoner from the zombie invasion. You now he's going very slowly. I mean, come on. He can move faster than that, can he? It's up. Oh, there's more dog tanks over there. You don't get that healing power. This feels so dull. How can they find this game extremely fun? Ooh, look at that. Bazooka. I mean, rocket. I get the others. Grab that. Get that.
Oh yeah, it's kind of like Super Mario 3D World. You can multiply. It just automatically goes left or right. It doesn't even matter. Oh uh, crap. Not good. Wow, look at that. There's dog tanks everywhere. rescue the hostages, so what else is there? Do we have to kill more stupid zombies? Oh, there's more over here. Get that. Alright, we rescued the prisoners, so... Can this end now? Oh, you have to go all the way back down here. How the hell should I know that was supposed to be that way? Oh, there's zombies down there. Just enjoying the bonfire of a airplane crashing. <clears throat> Helicopter. Shot. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Go faster, faster, faster. We got company. They're behind you. Kill them all! I've been waiting months for this game to play, and this is all I get. Really? I think I would be playing Corpse Killer, killer besides this game. But really? This is the game I've been waiting for all this time? Okay, this is getting boring. Let's speed it up. Wow, can they go any slower? 
Hurry up. Man, this game already blows on how dull and lifeless everything is. This is all you do is just shoot zombies. And rescue a few hostages, I guess? Shoot, I don't know. I ain't barely played half of this game so far. Already half hour into this gameplay and I'm already bored out of my mind right now. So I should be playing a different game. And there's another one. I thought this was going to be an exciting game, but it just feels like the same copy as Diablo, except halfway empty. Mission success. Yep. This is the whole game, isn't it? This is the whole entire game now, isn't it? Just rinse and repeat. All the time, isn't it? <sighs> you know what? Hold on. How much did I pay for this game? Ten bucks. I spent ten bucks for this game. This is unbelievable that I had to spend ten bucks for this game. I think I'm gonna be playing you know, one of those older games again compared to this one. Already 30 minutes, we're like 38 minutes in and this is the entire game now, isn't it? This is unfreaking believable that they had to do something like this to my own time. You know, it's times like this I should be playing Final Fantasy games. Instead of the slow, boring, ridiculous gameplay. Screw this, I'm out of here. I am so not playing this entire game like this. I'll be bored out of my mind playing this one. I mean, I thought this was going to be exciting, but this is all you do is just move the right joystick and left stick to just shoot and aim. Way too easy. And you buy weapons by shooting zombies in the head. I think I'd rather play that freaking World World Z again compared to this game. I think I'm gonna be playing better games compared to what I just did not too long ago. But really? That's the whole game? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, how much achievements does this game have? Let's count them up, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13? Really? The Reach Lave 25. You know what? Screw this. Screw this. Where the friggin' videos I did. Let me see. Where's the friggin' videos at? Let's see. There we go, change the background a bit. Actually, it's still at red, like my favorite color. Let's see. Damn it. Alright, here we go. Mm hmm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stick with the troll. Ah, right, here it is. Videos. I'll just show you this one. Here's the gameplay of Star Wars Jedi, what's it called again? Fallen Order. Here's what the gameplay looks like that I did a long time ago. I don't want to end this video too quickly. I'll just show you the gameplay of it. I've been waiting way too long to do this. At least you guys will not be disappointed. I did play this game before and not upload it to YouTube. It's just, um, shall we say, a testing gameplay. How I control the character. It takes a while getting used to basically controlling the character, running wall to walls, kind of like that Prince of Persia game, and swing your weapon around. This is the video I try to know which way to go. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? And murder or a beastly creature. Open the chest. Oh, oh, drawn. Swing across and concentrate for our power ups. Save. Rest, horse, rings, you have responded, scale tree, yep this is where you get your upgrades, the more power you use, the more forces you have to use in the game are quite helpful. Unless they're the Jedi training. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Train to the vault. Yep, it'll show that every time you do these certain 
so-called missions. Also, I love these kinds of things in most video games. If you have a robot body, and then you swing across while dealing with nasty critters like that one. A giant ugly frog monster. Slice them and dice them. Gotta probably watch out for its tongue if it sticks out. It's like a part alligator toad thing. You have to block its attacks by using your lightsaber, of course. I love the design of this creature. And oh, it's over? Okay, that was only like three minutes of it. And here's ten seconds of it. That's pretty awesome, right? 29 minutes, that's too long. So let's do 12 minutes. Respawn Entertainment. EA. EA does pretty good Star Wars games. I actually like Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, playing those so-called missions, combined ones. Hmm. I actually enjoy doing those instead of doing the actual story mode. This is what the entire game looks like, including the menu, including the battle star, or ship being destroyed it. I got that this is freaking sweet. This is pretty much where you left off in the gameplay. It's stupendous, isn't it? I really love the idea of when they make video game Star Wars characters platforming survival skills. It reminds me of that game called Enchant. Uncharted series. The way the character moves realistically. Stupendous graphics. Wonderful artwork. Voice acting pretty well. And not to mention expensive backgrounds and most likely skills. Those and upgrades. I really love the character design, Kyle. It does remind me of the other Star Wars characters that are famous back in the day. It's just that it's times like this you would play certain video game characters, how markedly well they come this far. I really love some of the robotic sidekicks. They're rather cute. Adorable, or at times annoying, and droid robots. And, um, okay, let me just fast forward this. Oh, too far. And use the power of the force to freaking stop fan machines like those. It's pretty neat. platforming skills of your powers. Using the force or using lightsaber. Kind of like those Lego Star Wars games. You just have to know when to do it. Essoing puzzles. 
I'm doing quick time advance. Yeah, every time you die, you're sent back to your checkpoint. It just takes a while to know what to do next. You have to move quickly as possible before the time runs out. Hit random switches and they'll do something. Oh yeah, and that one. I almost forgot about the research notes. You'll find like all kinds of notes in the game too, what other characters like the Jedi's leave scrolls behind. Or they used to live in these kinds of situations, dangerous places they storm upon the Oh yeah, and climb up some vine plants too. I'll just fast forward this because I tried to figure out of how to use the force powers to aim at the top side. Or climb to the other side. It really takes a lot of patience. Master the Jedi is mind power design and find most legendary treasures in these here parts. And it works for it. Proto designs. Now I'm trying to find like intriguing words to say. Very illogical, all, all talented ones. Progressing the missions. I mean, if you don't know what to do next, you can look up the entire gameplay because I did stop playing this game here on don't know what to do next. So do I go back in the ship, or keep exploring this big huge wilderness full of hidden temples, underground areas, destroying pipes, inked at their pipes. And I like how he uses the lightsabers, uh, like one of those powerful lines that people do back in the day. Shake them up. Like glow, sticks. glow sticks. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I've never seen that monster. Or alligator frog thing. With three eyes. Just standing there. Like Patrick says. From Spongebob. He's just standing there. Menacingly. I think it's this one where I find the monster. Oh, no, no. Show that one another time. Let's see which one. What else can I show you guys? Um, I already showed you that one. Alright, let's see. Wow, I did a lot of these ones. Oh yeah, play this one. This one's 12 minutes. Show you Lego The Incredibles. I did beat this game 100%. Kind of. Okay, obviously I did like 60%. It's kind of weird that this game is done by Warner Brothers and Disney all at once. This plays exactly like the other LEGO games.
I mean, if I did show you, like, the whole Let's Play... A... A Lego Incredibles, we would be here a whole entire... Or month. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the game looks like. I already been like the whole entire game and like probably a whole month. The music sounds good and all, but I got tired of hearing the same music. Repeats over and over and over again. It just repeats the same music for like 30 seconds. I had to turn it all the way down. Not because it's stuck in my head. I love Disney's Incredible, but after a while, after hearing it for hours, it gets stuck in your friggin' head. Not gonna lie, I do like. Here in soundtracks to most likely ones based off movies, but it's just too much. I do like the long stream, and I'll just fast forward it. There we go. Here's what the entire game looks like. I did on like on all the heroes and villains. I collected most likely almost everything. Now it says 97.1%. I was thinking, what else am I missing in this game? You can play like all kinds of many heroes or villains. Ones that can fly, ones that can actually swim, ones that get the ability to stretch, or should I say, shapeshift, like Alessa gir Alesta Girl. <clears throat> Strong strength, ice, fire power. Did I have a convention? There's like most Pixar characters in this game. There's Etri, Miguel from Coco, Dory, me from the Fine Nemo series. Yeah, you actually play most likely the characters. There's Shift from Green from Ratatouille. You can even control Remy to find some hard to reach places. You even play a freaking car, Lightning McQueen, in this game. I'm not kidding, it's pretty awesome. You can even play. Dash that can move very, very fast. Look at that, there's all the characters I unlocked it so far. Let me just point out the obvious of the characters I just said so far. <clears throat> okay, I don't have a pencil. I'll just use my finger. And we're almost an hour in. Here's Dory the fish. There's a guy in a banana suit, which is funny. There's Flick over there from Bugs Life. There's Solly, James B. Solomon from Monsters Incorporated or Monsters University. There's Wally. There's Woody from Toy Story Series. Yep, we can play him too. There's Bean Bung from Inside Out. The movie. Um, who else am I forgetting? Oh yeah, there's Lost Soul from this week's Pixar's Up. And there's even a light bulb. The Pixar character you just saw in the opening. You play a freaking lamp character. Now that is hilariously freaking sweet. <laughs> Look at all of these characters. You can even play in a mode. That does technology. Violet. Who does her power force field. 
Sprawl Zone. Big strong guys that can jump really high. Even Syndrome. <laughs> it took a very long time to unlock all these characters without using cheat codes. Kind of. Look at that. I already got like 105 characters. 113. Most of them you have to do like the hard way. Most likely during certain missions. Oh, speaking of Syndrome, there he is. Kind of cool playing the bad guy. I mean, those of you already watched, like, both the Incredibles movies, these they are pretty darn great. I might review both of them. I haven't even got to talk about most Pixar movies yet. Yeah, there was like lasers there. You could play Vi with these, her force field to have the characters going along with her. It's quite useful. And I collect so many studs, I don't know what else to buy. Hey, what the um, You can buy all kinds of cool stuff. Switch the characters by holding down the circle on button. Okay, you can't do that. See what I mean? Yep, you can go underwater too. It's very impressive, isn't it? Or no other word for it, intriguing. Stupendous. And most likely my favorite word. You know, it doesn't make sense, but it's from Delicious. Like in the words of Mr. Krabs. That's not even a word, and I agree with you. Oh yeah, by the way, there's like always random criminals stealing old people's late purses and stuff. Every time you do this, you get lots of those blue studs. It makes the entire game so much easier to buy all kinds of characters and vehicles. It just can go Grand Theft Auto style on these characters with their cars. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I gotta go feed my chinchilla. <laughs> gotta go feed my chinchilla. <laughs> I know what ammo he means. Yeah, this character is also freaking awesome. The way she jumps when you hold down the button. Jumps really high up. That is badass. And right on the ground, you know, there's just boards and that just come out of nowhere. That's still pretty e dandy, isn't it? The entire city looks incredibly huge. And you're basically a Lego character toy. The entire city looks amazingly great. There's also a challenge where you can outrace the time limit. The more challenges you do, the more you'll unlock certain things in this game. It makes the entire game so much easier. I used to do the racing game, which you saw near to her. A lot more easier to collect all kinds of amazing achievements.
I just love the idea when you play like certain amounts of characters on how strong they are. Or it just makes the entire game play worth doing. I did complete like both stories in Crebles 1 and 2. Well, the sequel starts out first instead of the first one. You know, it makes no sense why that's a thing. And where they just don't obviously start with the first one instead of the second. It's a complete mix-up. Also, they got, like, the same idea from the Lego... Oh, Jurassic World, where instead of killing the main characters... You know, they did that in, like, the Lego Star Wars game. They just... Let them live. I will not spoil... You know, like... The entire thing of, like, basically, well, shall we say, like, the whole gameplay of, <laughs> one that's based off movies, like that Jurassic World I just said. And those of you who haven't watched the movie yet, go watch it, it's only worth your time. Some characters can jump out of water, some of them don't. Yep, some characters can fly. It's totally worth... Earth playing, you know, if you want to enjoy... Me, our favorite... Superheroes or villains to play in this game. It's really stupendously well done. And the music's still going. It just repeats over and over again. It just depends on which character you play as. See, there's Lightning McQueen, based off the Cars movie. That's really, really neat. <laughs> also, I like how the Lego characters get ran over and they don't care that they're getting hit by a yeah, you know, car and get back up like it's no big deal whatsoever. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's it. It just it just ends there. I'm just fast forwarding it and it just ends there. <laughs> All right. I do like the character's design of her colorful clothes and her wearing lingo sandals con attached to her body. Alright, let's see. Anything else? Oh, that's it? Is that it? Um, hold on. Oh, that is it! To show this guy from Spiral Trilogy Game. Um, let's see. Um, what, no clips? Um, here we go, clips. Alright, I already showed you these ones. Ooh, okay, these ones are pretty long. Um, let's see. I guess I'll show you guys one more thing before I end it. I'll show you guys these ones another time. So it'll be like... Almost two hours long showing these ones. For now, I'll just show you this one. The gameplay of Spyro the Dragon. I completed the first one 91%, that one 2%. You're the Dragon 0. Let me just fast forward to this, and here we go. Also, that's how you show. 
Well, the timer. I just had to press the triangle button. <laughs> Silly me. I am a huge Spyro the Dragon fan, because I do play, well, most of them. Even Ender the Dragon. Even though that game is really terrible. And I regret playing that game as a kid. But I did enjoy playing the other Spyro games that are actually pretty good. There's, um... What's her name? Aurora. 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 She's half deer, half humanoid. Also, I love the IO animation on Spyro. I would not say much about Sparks either. I kind of didn't like Sparks' design because his eyes are too much of a lake or a dragonfly. I kind of like his old design better when he had antennas. Also, it shows how much gems you collect and those. Warp ones. So, it's probably been a long time since I showed you guys is that mini boss from, well, basically this game, that Jester guy. I was planning to probably make a crossover artwork with that creepy clown guy. Oh, there's Hunter. He's pretty awesome too. It's basically the same actor from the last game that came out 20 years ago. He does sound a bit older now, and then he teleported right there. Yeah, I know how the game works. You jump and... Double jump and glide of your wings. Nice job. Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button. I'd like this game is self-aware to what they do. Yeah, I kind of mess that up, because it does take a while getting used to playing Spyro, the way he controls. The way he moves does feel like, almost like a tank control, like other old, older games. So yeah, you have to time your jumps perfectly. And don't do like I just did. And he repeats the same dialogue lines, and I keep screwing up. And I finally made it. Also, I love the 2D art style of Red Doe. Oh, right there. I don't know if they show that in the original game, but it looks really stupendous. I'm also glad to have of a Disney artwork design. It just shows that it takes time and effort to design these characters pretty well done. Oh, that's it? That was fast. Um, probably show you one more. Ooh, Doom. Good choice. Alright, fast forward this. Screw the lung scream and kills... I mean, almost said zombies, but you have to kill monsters and demons. I'll just show you this one and I'll wrap it up. Because it's kind of late for me. I haven't had my dinner yet. I do love playing Doom. Even the 64 game is pretty dark. I like to show you guys like some random game so you won't be so bored. 
I mean, I did this like a very long time ago. I was gonna record it, but I would take way too long and and I had to most likely make extra room for my tablet. I had to keep on deleting more files because I was running out of well, basically mega dial what you call Mega Bytes, whatever it's called. Now yeah, look at that. Look at how freaking awesome that is. Gotta love the gruesome and kills on there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention if the enemy gets tiled air out, you can Charge right at them and rip them apart! Not to mention, I did play this game on Xbox One before I died out and played the demo of it. I was forced to play it because I could not afford getting newer demo gameplays after all this. Have a demo going on. It's just kind of times like this. I wish everything was back to normal just the way it was before anything, anything like this happened. Now we're forced to play like certain games until this blows over. I heard they're finally bringing back movie theaters opening in different parts of the stage of this world. Just like the good old times. I'm pretty sure people can still go to the driving at 88th Avenue here in Denver, Colorado. Speaking of the driving, I should look up what time of movies they got in the drivings in nowadays. I do love the blood and gore in this game, and you find these nightmare monsters from hell and power armor that make you invisible for a short while. And heavy metal rocky music. Tear them apart. Also, excuse me for a second. I'm gonna have to get a drink of a soda. Come on, the jibber jabbering I'm doing right now. My mess. Did my character just die? Because if he did, that's kind of a shame. I do love the signs that look like it's hell on earth, but the big opening felt clouds me and all stormy, the desert, wasteland. No human being on side, just you and the silence of the wind blowing by. Ancient ruin building. Being isolated and you just blasting away to their own creations on sight. That big, huge, empty 
Your bomb was filled. Full of smoke. Just not to die. Get upgrades. Gasoline fuel for the freaking chainsaw. Okay, let's fast forward this. Going up. Hit the switch button. Or use the hand. Dead bodies person's hand scan. Or reprogram. Satellite dish. I'm blocking your access to the facility scanner. That's. Samuel Yaten is supposed to be the main antagonist throughout the series of this gameplay. I do remember that famous line there to the end of the gameplay. Spoiler alert, he says, I am not the bad guy in this story. You can punch and kick them when they're too close to you. I also love how they're blasting their fire beams at you. Just like in the old Duke, I mean, Doom game 64 when they're using their blaster cannons out of their arms. Those big fat monsters. I love the blood and gore we fashion this gameplay got. It's very word for it, unique. I find it very fascinating. Very much a worthy challenge for me to exterminate these so-called demons. They're not aliens, but they're from the pit. It's of hell. By the way, I did watch, like, both Doom movies. The original Doom from the early 2004, and the one we got. Oh, there's a reboot. Oh, there's more of them. Big toughy guys. Sometimes they'll use shields to defend themselves. As I was saying, I did watch both Doom movies. One with a rock in it, aka Wayne Johnson. And not to mention the new one we got last years ago that came out in 2019. I kinda didn't like how they end the new Doom movie. Instead of playing like the male character, you play the female character. I don't even remember what her name is. I did read it from the library a long time ago. I kind of hate on the end of these movies and a cliffhanger note. That they're going to do another one. Maybe. Oh yeah, that. You want to make sure you find some certain progressing upgrades. In most places to have your weapons very powerful and use a map to find the location mission progressing your so-called progress I mean we got all these weapons the names of these creatures go back amp 
What was that other creature's name? They weren't the maze. Possessed it. Didn't let me chance to read that. Soldier. These demons do have names. And we just fast forward this because it's taking too long. And that's it. Also, I love how people love their Chinese food there. That says... Duke Chen Noodles. That's probably the soy sauce or some soda. I don't know. There's water and one of those coffee holder things. So that's it. I mean, we got, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four more to go. Okay, five. That's a story mode one. I think it only shows up for like 30 minutes. Um, hold on. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna delete. Eat this one. That's only like 10 seconds short. Just that one. Um. Oh wait, that's it. This one's 10 minutes, right? Oh yeah, that's a uh, gameplay of Kingdom Hearts. I already showed you guys the entire game on PS3 already. So that leads me with, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12. So... That's it. Mm hmm. Felt like I could have done it a little bit longer than that. But. Okay. I'll just go ahead and. How we do. One, two, three, four more of these tomorrow, then. Alright. I'll see you guys another time. Let me just go ahead and turn this off. Thank you all for watching. Glad I had to make this, this an hour and 29 minutes longer. So, alrighty, have a great rest of your time there, everyone. Goodbye for now. I'll see you guys it's tomorrow then. Same place, same area, I guess. I really don't got much else to say, so... Yeah. See you around. <clears throat>